If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Geometer series. In this season 2, episode 9, we are going to see about boundary extractor. In last class, we have seen about CSS and uh, jQuery based syntax. But now we are going to talk about very simple extractor in Geometer called boundary extractor. It allows the user to extract values from a server response using the left and right boundaries. So this is how it looks. It is very similar to other extractor where you'll be able to mention the apply to field and field to check and you will give a name and you just mention the left boundary and the right boundary and the match number. So match number here zero for random minus one is for all the occurrences and the value n is for the nth occurrence. And the default value you will mention if there is no match found in the response then the default value will be sent in the subsequent request. Like any other tester we have the boundary extractor tester in the view results tree you have to just select the type and the just beneath you will get the uh, options where you will mention the left boundary and the right boundary and you will click on test button then it will display all the match count and the occurrences. So this will be very handy if you want to test your left and right boundaries. So the snapshot shows the left boundary a href and the right boundary double quotes will extract all the hrefs value from the responses. So let us see a quick demo to understand better. So to demonstrate the left and right boundary, we are going to see a uh, last example, the computer database dot gatling dot io. In the home page, you will see all the computer names by default in the alphabetical order. Assume that you want to extract the links of the uh, first 10 uh, computer names. So how do you do that using the left and right boundaries? So if you right click on the uh, link and select inspect element, you will get the uh, the document uh, HTML document structure. And for each link, you can see there is a respective left and right boundary. So here our objective is to extract the href value, which means we have to extract the slash computers slash uh, the and the number. And the left boundary here is a space href equals double quotes. So this is our left boundary and the right boundary is uh, just double quotes. So if you mention this left and right boundary in Jmeter, it will extract all the hrefs value from the response. So this works even for the multi-line. So basically whenever uh, there is a multi-line in your HTML document, so then also it will extract. So basically whatever between the left boundary and the right boundary, it will extract and then it will store it in a variable. So let us uh, see this in uh, Jmeter. So let us add a sampler, HTTP request and copy the whole URL. So this would go in uh, path and the protocol is HTTP. And let us add a debug sampler and view results tree. And let us add a post processor boundary extractor. Right click on the request where you want to add the post processor and go to boundary extractor. So here you have to mention the variable name. So here let us give uh, extract underscore links and the left boundary is uh, left angle bracket a space href equals double quotes and right boundary is just double quotes and match number is minus one because we are going to extract all the links. And here we can say uh, no products uh, found and hit save and run and in the debug sampler uh, you can see our links so there are totally 15 links has been found in the home page and if you go to http request you can see the response uh, data and here uh, let us select the type as boundary extractor tester and let us enter our uh, left boundary a href equals double quotes and the right boundary is uh, double quotes and I click on test. So now you can see there are 15 occurrences. Basically there are 15 links available in this particular page. 
and now you can use this particular variable whatever we have created in the subsequent request to pass it along in the HTTP uh, sampler. So now here you can play around with your left and right boundary and you can uh, just test whether it is uh, extracting the right stuff where, whichever you want to extract. The one of the drawback here is uh, basically you want to know which occurrence you want to extract it exactly. So that is the problem uh, in the left and right boundary extractor. So in regex, you will mention the regex specifically where you want to extract and what you want to extract. But here it will just extract everything and you have to make sure you are passing the right uh, match number in the uh, boundary extractor and whether it is extracting the right stuff, then you have to make use of the variable you have created. So that is the only thing you have to take care when you are working in the left boundary and right boundary and in the extractor. And uh, this will extract even the multi-line. So I have mentioned even it works for the multi-line, right? So let us uh, quickly see a multi-line example. So let us uh, add a sampler, HTTP request. And let us add a post processor boundary extractor. And the HTTP request, let us go with the example.com. So here, uh, what will happen is whenever you execute this, the response data you can see uh, it is a multi-line uh, document. So assume that you want to extract the body uh, CSS uh, elements. So you will mention the body curly braces as a left boundary and the curly braces as the right boundary. So let us add this. Here we can say body uh, CSS and body space curly braces in the left boundary and uh, right curly braces in the right boundary and the match number is uh, say one and no value found and if we execute this we can see the body underscore css has the whole value even if it is a multi-line it will just works for you so that's the uh, one good thing you have to make a note of it so here you can play around with your boundary extractor tester say uh, assume that i want to extract say div tag so div uh, space curly brace and right boundary is curly brace and a test so now you can see there are totally two divs has been found and it is extracting the even if it is a multi-line it will just extract it so now assume that i want to extract all the html elements so what you do is just uh, angle brackets and right angle brackets and test so now you can see all the html elements even if it is a starting and ending so everything it is matching so you have to uh, just make sure you are using the right boundaries in your extractor otherwise you will end up in extracting uh, different stuffs and then it will not work in the subsequent request so that's the guess from my side if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section or you can sign up at uh, community.qinsights.com if you have any questions i will be very happy to help you and thanks for watching have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel